With the recent release of the Gran Turismo 4 Spec 2 mod, I have been getting a ton of questions, whether it's related to patching your ISO, emulation questions, compatibility questions, all sorts of stuff. So I figured I should make this video to go over those things and also give you guys some tips, boost your PCSX2 performance, apply PCSX2 cheats, texture packs, as well as updating your current ISO to the latest version of the mod. Before we get into it, I have to be very clear about some things. The only thing I really play Gran Turismo 4 on these days is PCSX2. And while I do have a PS2, I rarely play it on there, and I have never modded my PS2 directly in my entire life. So this video is primarily focused on PCSX2, but the patching process of your ISO should apply regardless. Now, I thought this would be obvious, but apparently it's not obvious enough. But the reason why nobody is providing a full download of the patched ISO is, well, because of this reason. <laughs> People have gotten community striked on YouTube in the past by providing a link to the ISO or BIOS. So that is not something I can do on my end and that is absolutely not something I will allow people to discuss or talk about in the comments. It just puts me at risk and that is definitely not something I want to mess with. So whenever it comes to sourcing the correct ISO, that is 100% going to have to be on you to figure out and I am not responsible for anything that may or may not happen for whatever you choose to do. Anyways, with that being said, let's get right into it. So first we'll go over the ISO patching process. In the description I will have a download to xdelta patcher. You're going to want to extract the zip file anywhere on your PC and then double click on the xdelta ui.exe. So the patch is the file that you have downloaded from the Gran Turismo 4 Spec 2 website, and there will be two different kinds of patches. You will have a full patch if you're patching your ISO for the first time, and then you will have a update patch that you can patch your existing Spec 2 ISO with to update it. The source file is going to be your bare bones Gran Turismo 4 online beta NTSCU version. This has to be a 100% original ISO, it cannot have the DNAS bypass on it, it cannot have other mods installed on it. In order to verify that it is the correct version, I will leave a link to a MD5 hash checker tool in the description as well, and with that you will be able to verify if the file is correct. And to triple check, here is the size of the original ISO that I use. So once you have those two, next click on output file. You can name your ISO wherever you want, to whatever directory you want, but make sure that the file name ends in .iso. If you do not have the .iso extension on the end of it, then it will not work. When you click patch, the app won't do anything, and if you try clicking on it, it'll say not responding. Just give it a few minutes to do its thing. And then once it's done, you should see your freshly built ISO in your new directory, and the original ISO will still remain untouched. Now to install a spec2 update to your existing spec2 ISO, it's pretty simple. You just have to do the exact same thing again, except you select the update patch instead of the one you used before. The update patches are going to be smaller in size than the full patches, so just keep that in mind and make sure you don't download the wrong one. And also before you do this, make sure you have a backup of your save on PCSX2 or whatever other device you're using just to make sure that your save doesn't corrupt in any way. Now if you're updating your mod, then there is a certain limitation to this. If you somehow miss one or multiple versions, then there are a couple things you can do. You can either download each version that you missed and apply the patches one by one in that order, or you can start fresh from a clean ISO again and just download the full patch for the version you're trying to get. So if you're on version 1.01 .01 and you want to update to 1.03, you can't download the 1.03 update patch and expect it to work. You will have to go to version 1.02 first, download and patch that, and then go to version 1.03, download and patch that. Or the other option is to just take your clean ISO again and do the full update patch on that instead. So just make sure that you do this the right way, and you don't have to worry about losing your original clean ISO copy, as the patching tool will never modify that file, rather it just creates a copy of it and then patches that one instead. So make sure you download and patch the right ones in the right order. Now as far as getting this onto your PS2 or other devices, unfortunately I can't help you with that, but there are plenty of YouTube tutorials out there that will teach you how to transfer your ISO from your PC to your Android phone, how to burn it on a disc, play it on PS2 OPL. Even if you have a PAL PS2, there are ways to get it working. Unfortunately, I just don't have any of that stuff, so I myself can't really show that process. 
But like I said, there are tons of guides on the internet. All it takes is a quick search, and I'm sure you'll come across something. So now let's get into the PCSX2 specific stuff. Once you have your ISO loaded in your directory, the only way I would recommend you change your settings is by right clicking on your game and choosing properties, and that way all your settings will be game specific, and you don't have to share them with any other games that you may have. First things first, there are only two PCSX2 versions I would recommend, and that is PCSX2 2.0, which is the most up-to-date stable version of PCSX2, or PCSX2 2.0 nightly builds. I absolutely do not recommend anybody play in PCSX2 1.6. It is very outdated, it's very slow, and there's a lot of issues with it. So PCSX2 2.0, or 2.0 nightly, if you are fine with those development updates. So for the most part, all the settings that are in my PCSX2 Ultimate Settings Guide are pretty much going to be the exact same for the Spec 2 mod. So unless you're setting up PCSX2 for the first time, you don't really need to go over that video again, and we don't need to go over too many things in this specific setup, but there are some things I do want to cover. If you click on the Advanced tab on the left and then scroll down, make sure you have Enable Game Fixes checked. That alone will fix a lot of issues in the game, so double check to make sure that is on. And if you're using any HD texture packs, make sure that pre-cache textures is not enabled because some people have been having issues where their memory is absolutely filled and that is because they have been running the texture packs with this option enabled. So make sure that's turned off if you're gonna be running any. Next, we're gonna go over the PCSX2 cheats or the PNACH files. So for the most part, some GT4 online beta cheats will still work on spec two but there are some of them that do not work, such as the ones related to the camera. There's no surefire way to tell which ones are going to work and which ones aren't, unless you just try it for yourself. But if you are using a GT4 Online NTSC U cheat, this is what you need to do to enable it for Spec 2. I will have a link in the description to a few different pages that have Gran Turismo 4 Online NTSC U version cheats. And to verify that it is from GT4 Online and TSC, it'll be SEUS97436. Cheats from Retail GT4, even if it's Retail GT4 PAL or NTSC, will not work. It has to be GT4 Online in TSEU. So once you download the cheat files that you want, the one thing you're going to have to change is the CRC number. To find that, go to your ISO properties, click on Summary, and your CRC will be listed right here. Just Control c to copy it go over to your file name and then change the CRC to that CRC. If you end up doing a full restart of the game and it doesn't work, then it's probably just not compatible with Spec 2 and somebody will have to remake it at some point. There are also some Spec 2 specific cheats that will be on the website, but depending on when you watch this video, the CRC might change. So just double check to make sure that it is the right one for your version. So for those of you who are having slowdowns on night tracks, there are three cheats that will significantly improve your performance. Disable car light flares, disable sun flare, and disable track lights. These alpha textures can be very taxing on some systems, so these cheats would provide a very nice performance boost on tracks like Seattle, Motegi, Special Stage, Hong Kong, and George Pears. Now a lot of people are asking this, even though I did cover it, but yes. The existing HD texture packs will work with Spec 2, because these texture mods aren't really a mod, they're kind of like a texture pack type thing. And that is a PCSX2 feature that does not have anything to do with the ISO itself. So they are 100% compatible, although they would need to be updated for Spec 2, due to some new textures that are in Spec 2, or other issues that the texture packs themselves might have. Now, unless you've been using the emulator for a while, you might see a few graphical glitches here and there, such as Z-clipping in the distance, or who knows what else. Most of the time, this is going to be an emulator issue and not a problem with Spec 2 itself, but as long as you are on PCXX2 2.0 or higher, then almost any issues that you run into are not going to be too huge of a deal. For Spec 2 specific bugs, if you have anything to report, the best place to do it would be Admeister's Discord server Racing Game Cafe, and you could also keep track of Spec 2 updates from there. Now this is one more thing I want to cover for new players. If you want to get your game looking like this, then once you load into the game, head over to the screen settings, make sure you enable 480p progressive scan, just don't use 1080i, it's worse, trust me, and also enable 16x9 aspect ratio. Then your game will look like this. Now if you want your game to look like this, head over to the monitor settings in the options, 
and there are two different things that you can change. Distance is the distance of the chase camera alone. It does not have an effect on any other cameras. 240 is what I like using, but if you want the camera to go a bit further back, you just lower this value, and if for some reason you want it to go closer, you can raise it. And if you would like to change your in-game FOV, which applies to every camera in the game, including replay cameras, that would be the overscan factor setting. Me personally, I don't go any lower than 0.95, because for me, changing the FOV too much makes it harder to judge corners and breaking distances, so I try not to mess with that too much. But if it is something you would like to use, then feel free. So that's about all I have to cover for this video for those of you who have been having trouble. Like I said, if you're looking for PCS62 settings, I have a completely dedicated video to that in the description. It still applies today to this mod as well, so be sure to check it out. And with that being said, I hope y'all continue enjoying the mod, and I will see y'all later.